This is my video on how I made my in-car entertainment system. The idea is that when you turn on the ignition, um, the phone comes on automatically and starts playing or starts loading a car launcher. And uh, when you turn off the ignition, um, the phone goes to sleep, turns off the display, um, but the battery keeps charging. So the phone won't go dead you know, after a few days because it's still running on battery in sleep mode. Uh, the idea is <clears throat> the battery is, is kept fully charged all the time. So what I've got here is a battery, um, 11 volt uh, battery simulating the car battery going around here. And this is basically simulating the car's ignition and its power source. Um, so we have a permanent live here, permanent live going into my relay, which I'll show you in a minute, and ignition switched live, which is this white wire here, which I will also show you in a minute. This then goes into, well, via a fuse, two fuses, one for the ignition live and one for the battery live. Um, it goes into a relay, and the relay then switches a 5 volt uh, charge uh, power module and also a TP4056 uh, LiPo charger module, which I'll also show you in a minute. So what we've got here is the ignition 12 volt. Uh, so this is going to the battery. This is my white wire here. And the white wire goes into the relay and the other side of the relay goes to ground. Here we have an IN4001 diode um, this is just to stop any voltage spikes when the relay turns off and it's recommended you fit a, a diode on relays if you can. It's a double pole relay, so one side is uh, closed uh, when the power's off and the other side is, is open when the power's turned on here. Uh, the red wire here again is fused uses here, goes through the, the common relay contact here and it goes to the normally closed contact on the relay. So essentially when this relay isn't turned on or when the ignition is, is turned off this, this relay isn't energised, the relay turns on this 5 volt module here. And that's this module here. Here's here. So here's my relay. Goes into the 5 volt module there. So positive, negative, going to ground, into the 5 volt module. The 5 volt module then powers a TP4056 LiPo battery charger module. You can get these on eBay very cheap, 99p for a couple of them. Same for these boards here, 5 volt USB boards, you can buy them very cheap, normally a couple of pounds if that. So positive 5 volts, negative, into the charge module. And then this then goes directly to the phone battery, which I'll show you later. So the idea of this is when you turn, when you turn off the ignition, this becomes live. So when the car's switched off, this is live and charging the battery. So just to simulate what this actually does, here's my ignition switch. You can see at the moment the charger is, is on. See a red light there indicating it's charging. So if we turn on the ignition, this turns off. Okay, now at the same time, on my car, I'm going to be connecting this USB into the back of the head unit. So I'm going to get my 5 volts full of phone. This cable here goes through this cable, through this pile of cable here, directly into the phone's normal charger socket. Okay, so pretend this, pretend this uh, USB uh, charger here is my car's head unit. The head unit powers on. And the phone comes on. And let me just stop that 
music. Um, yeah, so the phone comes on. Um, Spotify carries on playing where it left off. Um, on here, I've got Talk, uh, which you can use to monitor your cars, revs, and GPS speed, and all sorts of things. <clears throat> Go back to home. This is A Gamma, by the way. The, the application running here is called A Gamma, A G A M A. Um, costs, um, I can't remember how much it costs, a couple of pounds, I think, uh, for the pro version. Um, but you can configure all these buttons, you can have loads of buttons, you know, more than this if you want. Um, I've got like rain alarm here, so I can see, you know, if it's going to rain or whatever. Um, Spotify up here. Come back out on that. Um, I'm trying to do it by looking at the actual screen on the phone. So Spotify, you can go in there. Um, internet. Um, and yeah, you can do navigation, of course, with Google Maps. I haven't actually installed Google Maps on here yet. This is actually running Android 10 um, Lineage 17.1. So it's a very cut down version of the Android operating system. It's just a, the, the bare minimum. This is rooted and as I say it's got the lineage um, application on there uh, which is a very fast operating system. You know this is an old Samsung S4 phone. <clears throat> um, it's very quick with lineage. Um, a lot a lot quicker than it was when it had the Samsung software on there. Okay so that's that. When you get in your car you turn on the ignition this charger module turns off, this USB powers up from my car stereo and starts charging the, this phone in the normal method via the USB port. The reason you have to use this switch module is because you don't want two charge circuits charging the phone at the same time. Um, if you had both chargers trying to charge the battery, um, you know, it'd probably go bang. <laughs> you don't want to do that. Um, so yeah, so when I've parked up, um, obviously the ignition goes off, so I'll just unplug this to simulate the radio going off. There you go, that shuts down, and that will eventually go off by the way, let me just show you that. That will go to sleep, eventually. There you go, it's gone. And obviously this turns off which in turn turns on the charger so that's come back on again that is now charging the battery and I'll show you this in a minute um, this is wired directly onto the battery which I'll show you in a sec um, let me just quickly show you let me just power this back on so pretend we've come back in the car let's turn off Spotify Spotify will launch automatically every time let me just pause that um, another app I've got running on here is Automate It. And this does a number of things. I'll try and get this where you can actually see it. Um, so I've got power down actions and power up actions here. Let me just quickly show you what these do. Right, let me just try and show you that. So you can see there, let's try and get it to focus. It's not going to focus very well, I don't think. But basically, it kills talk, it kills Spotify. Um, it activates um, airplane mode. Um, turns off the screen, puts the screen time out to five seconds, disables GPS, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. Now, I can't get these two apps to kill automatically. In fact, I'm having trouble getting any of this to work properly. The only thing that does seem to work properly uh, is the screen timeout. I think Automator isn't used to working with, or isn't yet configured to work with uh, Lineage. Um, I would like all these things to happen, but at the moment they don't. The reason why I want to turn off the GPS and Bluetooth and Wi-Fi is basically just to save power. Um, you know, even though it's charging from the car battery and it's going to last, you know, a long time off the car battery. Um, yeah, it's just using unnecessary power. I don't really want the phone there, you know, talking to my wife all the time. It's just, it just seems like a good idea to turn it off. Um, the other thing I'm doing here, if I look at power up, at power up actions, um, so it starts Spotify and talk, deactivates airplane mode, 
uh, turns off the screensaver, um, returns the, the phone back to the home screen, which is A Gamma, enables GPS, Bluetooth, and Wi Fi, uh, and it does that after eight seconds. Um, this is just to stop it flapping. You know, when you get in the car and turn on the ignition, obviously it's going to turn off for a minute and then back on. Um, Council delayed execution is quite important. So if external power is disconnected, um, yeah, it cancels these actions, which is a good thing to have. Uh, same for this one here. If external power is connected, it disables all the power down things. So that's that. Uh, what else can I show you on here? That's about it, really. Um, yeah, you can configure all this. Um, yeah, various options. Oh, one thing you do want to do, yeah, we need to do an A gamma, is go to, you can configure nighttime brightness and daytime brightness. Um, and that's done by GPS as well. So it uses GPS time, which is quite good. So as the evenings draw in, in the winter, you know, this all works automatically. Um, what am I looking for? Let's just have a look here. It is... I can't remember where the setting is. Uh, sleep mode, you need to turn sleep mode on. Home screen, set as A gamma. And then whenever you hit the home button, it goes straight back into A gamma. So sleep mode and A gamma, they're quite important features. So in the back of the phone, here's the phone's battery, the default battery. Um, here's my cable coming in. This is coming out of my TP4056 charger here, comes in here and it goes directly to the battery terminals on the back of the battery. So you need to take your phone apart, look at the battery. On the back of the battery, uh, if I show you an old battery I've got lying here, this is a, out of a laptop, but you'll find the two connections which go directly into the cell of the battery. Now on this battery here behind this bit of plastic there's like a little control board uh, like a module behind here you don't want to connect directly to that you want you must connect directly into the battery terminal so you need to find where they are and solder directly onto those connections because you want all this charge circuit here to be completely separate from the phone okay that's that's quite important it may work if you connected it to the, the contacts here where it connects into the phone, but I wouldn't do that. You're better off connecting directly to the battery and then the TP4056 here does all the charging and also obviously, you know, charges it properly. It turns off when it's fully charged, turns on when it needs charging automatically. So that's that and it all seems to work. Um, if I just plug my USB back in here. Right, as I said, this 5 volt USB connection here is effectively going through this loop of cables here and it's coming out here. So this is what I'm going to connect to the back of my head unit. That would be my head unit there. That is what powers up the, uh, the unit. Let me just turn this sound off. Stop. Oh, stop. Right. Now then, if you didn't have a head unit with a USB output, what you could do is on the other end of the relay, the other side of the relay latch, so when this coil is energised and this contactor flicks over, what you could do is have another USB module powering the phone. You see? So this one, when it's, when it's energised, this turns on, this module here powers up, this one turns off, this one powers up, and it goes to the phone USB. So directly to the battery, directly to the phone USB. That's another thing you could do if you didn't have a uh, head unit like I've got. You could do that and that would be a quite, quite a neat solution. The, the only slight issue is when you turn the ignition on and when you start the car, um, this will normally turn off. Uh, you know how when you turn your car on, um, the radio goes off while you're cranking the engine? That could potentially be an issue you may have to put some sort of timer in here to stop that happening I suppose you could put a big capacitor uh, across this relay just to stop this flapping when you're trying to start the car um, because the only reason you might have to do that is because um, 
automate it, might get a bit confused. But you can use those those timers, you can set a delay on automate it um, to stop it performing those actions. Um, so that might be a good idea. As I say, the only thing I need to do on this really is try and get those power up and power down things working properly. I, I haven't sussed that out yet. You don't necessarily need automate it. I mean, when this power goes off, it will by default um, go into sleep mode and uh, you can obviously keep the phone. You can obviously set the, the phone's actual sleep timer to you know, a few seconds and it'll do exactly the same thing. I'm thinking about maybe removing automate actually if I don't use that. Um, if you go into, oh the other thing, if you use automate it, you do need a rooted phone as well. So you need to have it rooted. Um, if you don't use automate it, um, when you go into developer options on your phone, um, one of the options in, in there is to turn off the sleep mode when it's powered from USB. So do that because that will stop the uh, screensaver kicking in. Uh, so that's in developer options uh, in there somewhere. I'll see if I can find it very quickly. Yeah, so go into settings. Let me see if I can get this in focus. Go into settings. Uh, it's actually settings and then system. Uh, is it that? Yeah, settings system. In this version of Android, it's in uh, advanced systems, is that I think it was? Uh, developer options. I'm trying to get this so it focuses on the screen. It's very difficult. Uh, and then one of the options here is stay awake. I think in other Android operating systems, it's called turn off screensaver or something like that. But make sure you tick that. And then when it's on power, um, the screensaver won't keep kicking in, which is quite handy. So that's it really. Um, it seems to work quite well. I'm quite happy with it. The next thing I need to do is fit it in the car and just do a few road tests and make sure I'm happy with it. Just to go through this again then, um, here's our relay, here's the, the coil. One side of the coil goes to ground. IN 4001 diode, fire a fuse to the ignition switch. So this becomes live when the car's on, you know, when ignition, when ignition, the ignition is on. Relay contact, here's the common here. Fire a fuse again to the 12 volt battery. This is permanent 12 volts. Normally closed, that means when there's no power here, it's normally closed. That goes 5 volt module. TP4056 charger module directly to the phone battery. Um, if you didn't have a head unit with uh, USB power, the other side of the relay here, go up to another 5 volt USB module to the phone's USB. Obviously, the other side of it goes to ground. Um, so, two of these. So, when the ignition's on, this USB module is live. When the ignition is turned off, this USB module is live, which in turn charges the battery. Okay, good luck.